Hello Aquablooners! Welcome all to a new video from Aquablooms, let's bloom together! In this video, let's look into a common question asked by most of the lotus growers, especially beginners. Is this lotus variety which I buy tropical or hardy? By asking it's tropical, they mean does it flower a lot and by hardy, they mean does it flower very little. Actually the term tropical scientifically means growing in the tropics. Tropics are areas where hot and humid climate prevails. In reality, referring the term tropical has no connection with the plant's ability to produce flowers. Likewise, the term hardy does not mean a non-flowering lotus, but these varieties are those that have been adapted to grow and bloom in areas with cool climatic conditions. We all know sufficient temperature and sunlight accelerate vegetative growth in lotus plants such as leaf production, rhizome branching and formation of rhizome nodes. Therefore, lotus varieties grow in tropical areas are well adapted to grow where it is warm year-round and bloom their best. These lotus varieties do not require a dormancy period, hence form tubers very rarely in situations like less flower production as it grow in a place for too long time. On the other hand, lotus varieties adapted to grow in cold climatic areas will go dormant easily in cooler weather with reduced intensity of sunlight. In dormancy, growth of the lotus plant reduces naturally to save its energy and form tubers, serving as a food reserve for next generation. Tubers are thickened underground part of a stem or rhizome, from which new plants arise. Once favorable climatic situation arrives, these tubers grow and new leaf spikes emerge from the soil to the water surface, forming floating leaves and produce a new vegetation. When lotus plant just begin to show leaf spikes, their tubers are carefully divided and repotting it for growing new plants. So whenever you decide to grow some variety of lotus, ask the lotus grower or lotus seller in detail and understand well about the specifics of that variety. Because, many environmental factors like the climatic condition of the area where plant grows, water chemistry, microelements in the soil and water, composition of soil, size of the area in which plant grows, dosage of fertilizer etc. will influence the growth of the plant and its flowering. Therefore, it is advisable for beginners to understand the environmental and geographical features of their area first and choose suitable varieties that grow well there. Instead, don't buy and grow some lotus just by asking if they are hardy or tropical. Thank you so much for watching this video, please share it among other aquatic plant lovers and their groups. Happy gardening to all!